Welcome everyone! In this video, we will talk about how to find a line using the point-slope form. The point-slope form is extremely useful since it allows us to find an equation for a line if we know its slope and the coordinates of a point on the line, or even if we know the coordinates of two points on the line. So we know the point, we know the slope, and we want to determine what line has that point and that slope. Now let's work on some problems. Find an equation for the line that has slope 1 half and passes through minus 4, comma, 3. Write the final answer in the general form of the equation. Ax plus by plus c is equal to 0. An equation of a line with slope m that passes through x sub 1, y sub 1 is y minus y sub 1 is equal to m times x minus x sub 1. This is so-called point-slope form of an equation of a line. So for the solution, we use this formula and we let m to be equal to 1 half and x sub 1, y sub 1 to be minus 4 and 3. So we have y minus 3 is equal to 1 half times x minus minus 4. y minus 3 is equal to 1 half x minus minus 4 is simply plus 4. y minus 3 is equal to 1 half x plus 1 half times 4 is 2. Now I will multiply everything with 2 in order to get rid of the fraction here in front of the x variable. So we have 2y minus 3 times 2 is 6 and that equals to 1 half times 2 is 1 so we have x here plus 2 times 2 is 4. Now, in the question, it was asked to write the equation of the stri straight line in general form. So, we transfer everything to the left side and we have 2y minus 6. If I transfer x to the other side, it will be minus x. And if I transfer 4 to the other side, I will have minus 4 and that equals to 0. So 2y minus x minus 6 minus 4 is minus 10 and that equals to 0. Or minus x plus 2y minus 10 and equals to 0. Now I will just simply divide everything by minus 1 in order to eliminate the negative sign in front of the x variable. So minus x divided by minus 1 is simply x. Now 2y divided by minus 1 is minus 2y and minus 10 divided by minus 1 is plus 10 and that equals to 0. And this tells us what our line is. This is the equation of the line in general form. Now let's work on our second problem. Find an equation for the line that passes through the two points minus 3, comma 2 and minus 4, comma 5. Write the final answer in the standard form. y is equal to mx plus b. For this particular problem, first we need to find the slope of the line. And for that we will use this slope formula. m is equal to y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. In the problem, we are given here x sub 1, y sub 1 and x sub 2, y sub 2. So here we have y sub 2, which is 5, minus y sub 1 is 2 over x sub 2. For x sub 2, we have minus 4 minus x sub 1, which is minus 3. 
this equals to 5 minus 2 is 3 over minus 4 minus minus 3 is plus 3. This equals to 3 over minus 4 plus 3 is minus 1. And this simply equals to minus 3. So for the slope, we have a final value of minus 3. Now, we use the point slope form to find the equation of the line. And here I will write the point slope form again. So y minus y sub 1 is equal to m times x minus x sub 1. We have m, we have x sub 1, and we have y sub 1. So let's plug in the values. So we have y minus 2 is equal to minus 3 times x minus minus 3. y minus 2 is equal to minus 3 x minus minus 3 is plus 3. Now we have y minus 2 is equal to minus 3 x minus 3 times 3 is minus 9. And now the question asks us to write the equation for the line in standard form. So, I will transfer minus 2 to the other side and I will leave y on the left side. So, we have y is equal to minus 3x minus 9 plus 2. And now, y is equal to minus 3x minus 7. So, now we have our final answer and we know what our line is. This equation now is in point-intercept form that we derived from the point-slope form. The general formula of the point-intercept form is the following. y is equal to mx plus b. And we look at the line here. We look at the equation of the line here. And we can see that the slope corresponds correctly because we have, for m, we have minus 3 here as well. I hope you found this video helpful and thank you for watching.